Not that you ever broke down and cried Tears falling from your eyes Praying to your how a guy that pulls you to that dotted line Moving wrong, but I just want to stop without the octagon I know my heart is righteous, but these curses make me compromise Used to play the block and grind Serving people with poison and these same people was kidding me But I just helped destroy him and my brothers act like enemies They don't know what they doing Cause they cock about the violence that lead us to a ruin But I tightened up Now I'm standing bold in front of Edom I used to dwell in darkness, but the spirit Help me see the light From Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20 it says, woe unto them that call evil good. Right, woe or death and destruction unto them that call evil good. And what else? And good evil. And put good for evil, right? Go ahead. That put darkness for light uh -huh. and light for darkness. Right, so this place that we live in, America, this is what they're the kings at doing. They're the kings at turning good into evil right. and calling evil good. Right, right go ahead. It says that put bitter for sweet and uh -huh. sweet for bitter. Right, and they put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Right, they put Splenda in the damn sugar right. bar. Right. Because they put sweet for bitter. Right. Yo, this is crazy, bro. Go ahead. Now, verse 21, it says, Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes. Right, oh. they're wise in their own eyes. Go ahead. And prudent in their own sight. And they're prudent in their own sight because you can't tell them a damn thing. You can't tell them that everything that you see around you is backwards, is in reverse. Right, right. and I'll give you an example, right? When I was a little kid, when brothers up here were little kids, right, our parents had to talk to, talk to us, right? They had to talk to us about what? About the birds and the bees. Right, right, right. right. But nowadays, me as a parent, right, I gotta talk to my kids about the birds. I gotta talk to my kids about the bees. I gotta talk to my kids about the birds that used to be bees. I gotta right. talk to my kids about the bees that used to be birds. Right. I gotta talk to my kids right. about, right, the bees that wanna be birds, but they still got stingers. Right. Bro, everything in this place is upside down right. and then prophesied right. in the Bible. Give me that in uh in Wisdom of Solomon. As a matter of fact, you got that Hosea? Yeah. Right, go to 5 and 15 and read that real quick. Con, this is the book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. Right. I will go and return to my place. Right, the Lord said, since y'all wanted to turn y'all back on them, right, go ahead. Till they acknowledge their offense. He said he was going to turn his back on y'all like a couple when they argued. Right. Which all throughout the scriptures, the most high God's relationship with Israel is that of a husband and a wife. Right. right? So go ahead. It says, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Right. And, and he said that he was going to turn his back until we admitted as the wife that we are right. wrong. Right. Go right. Ahead. And seek my face uh -huh. in their affliction. They will seek me early. Right, and in their affliction, they will seek him early, right? right? So when Jacob's trouble rolls around, right, and everything hits the fan, shit hits the proverbial fan, right? right then all of our people are going to be searching for the Lord, right. Right? right? But he said, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Why? Because the day is going to come, right, when you're going to come to the highways and byways, right, and the Lord ain't going to be found. The Lord ain't going to be nowhere to be found. But he speaks to you through his prophets, which his prophets are the Israelites, right? Get Amos 2 and 11. All right, you get it, go ahead. Oh, I, I have precept. All right, hold your precept. Hold your precept, get Amos uh, 2 and 11. Right, because we're gonna show that the Israelites are the prophets emphatically. Right. It's the book of Amos, chapter 2, 11. And I raised up of your sons for prophets. Right, and the Most High raised up of the Israelites, right, for prophets. Yeah. And of your young men for Nazarites. Right, and our young men for Nazarites, right, which those are specifically them that are separated to the Lord through what's called a Nazarite vow, which you can find out live in Numbers chapter 6. Go ahead. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel, uh -huh. saith the Lord? Right. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel, saith the Lord? Read on. Yeah. But ye gave the Nazarites wine to drink. But our wicked ass people do what? <laughs> but ye gave the Nazarites wine, wine to, to drink. They gave the Nazarites wine to drink, right? Go ahead. And commanded the prophets, saying, Prophesy not. Mm -hmm. Behold, I am pressed under you. Mm -hmm. right, right, so this is exactly what y'all do, right? Y'all see our people that's pure and holy, right? And you hate to see our people that's pure and holy so much that y'all go out of y'all way to tempt them, to corrupt them, right? And then when you see our people teaching and preaching, y'all say, we don't want to hear that right? right. Go ahead. Behold, I am pressed under you. Right, and this is why the Most High is pressing y'all, right? Go ahead. As a cart is pressed that is full of sheep. Uh-huh. Therefore, the flight shall perish mm -hmm. from the swift mm -hmm. 
and the strong shall not strengthen his force. Right, this is why the Most High took our strength away. Right, in the sight of all these other nations, we've been brought low because right. of this wickedness. Right, go ahead. Neither shall the mighty deliver himself. Right, and the mighty of our, even the mighty of our people can't deliver themselves. And this is how you know, right, that this is a supernatural judgment on our people by the Most High for our disobedience. Right, you can go ahead, you can drop that. Right, I wanted Wisdom of Solomon, uh, I think it's like 12 and uh, 14. God, this is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, and verse 12, it says, For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. Right, the devising of idols is the beginning of spiritual fornication, right? So we were likened unto God's wife, right? But we committed adultery, right? Against our husband, right? By worshiping these idols. This is the whole theme of the Bible, right? right? Go ahead. It says, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 12, for the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. Now, verse, 23. verse 23, it says, for whilst they slew their children in sacrifices or used secret ceremonies, or made revelings of strange rites, uh -huh. they kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. Right, so this is what our people did. They went off into idolatry, right? And when you look at santeria and brujeria, right, which is Caribbean witchcraft, right, and voodoo and all that, they do do sacrifices, right? You can watch a documentary called Cocaine Cowboys, and they will show you the news reports about how in the 80s, Right, the Miami PD would go into people's houses, right, just on a routine call, and they would find a damn cauldron with human leg bones, human oh, skulls, all that in the cauldrons because our people was doing these sacrifices, which they learned from the Canaanites on the other side of the world. Right, go ahead. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon uh, 14 and 24, it says, they kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled but either one slew another right. traitorously. Either one slew another traitorously, right? Yeah. Or grieved him by adultery. Or grieved him by adultery, right? Uh -huh. First off, the click you claim, right? Go ahead. Right. 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 So that there reign in all men without exemption, uh -huh. blood. Right, and this, this has been perpetuated so much so Right, that it said this was every man without exception. Right. right, this was all of us before we came into this truth as well. Right. 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 Everybody. Exception, Salah, verse 25, so that there reign in all men without exception, blood, manslaughter, theft and dissimulation, uh -huh. corruption, uh -huh. unfaithfulness, uh -huh. tumults, uh -huh. perjury, uh -huh. disquieting of good men. Uh -huh. Dis disquieting of good men. Right, the good man can't even be a damn good man no more, right, go ahead. Forgetfulness of good turns, uh -huh. defiling of souls, uh -huh. changing of kind. Right, it said what? Changing, changing of, of kind. kind. Changing of kind, right, that's the bees with the stingers that when it turns into birds. Right? Disorder in marriages. What? Disorder in marriages. Right, and that's Megan Thee Stallion talking about some, I'm the queen of plain beef. Right, you better eat this kitty. Right before I get another man to do it for me, right? Go ahead. Adultery uh -huh. and shameless uncleanliness. And shameless uncleanliness, right? And that's an old saying, right, that my grandma used to say, right? Esta mujer no tiene vergüenza, right? These women have no shame. Bro, because the elders know this, bro, that our young women, they have no shame. Right, go ahead. Keep Verse 27, for the worshiping of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. Right, so all of this is all the end result of us worshiping idols. Right. Everything that we see around us, right? And then, not only that, but you have now Christian pastors, right, and Muslim imams that are set up to perpetuate these false doctrines right. to keep our people right. on the damn hamster wheel, right? right? right. Which, in case y'all don't know, Islam and Christianity yeah. teach same thing, right. right? Jeremiah 33 and 24. Right. Right, right. go ahead, right. get that. Right? Islam and Christianity both teach the same damnable heresy, which that lie is called replacement theology right. or supersessionism. Right. Right. right? In Islam, right, they teach that the Israelites disobeyed God 
right? So now God cast off the Israelites, right? Get Lamentations 3 and 31, right? That the Most High cast off the Israelites forever and then replace them with the dirty ass Ishmaelites right, right, right. up in 7-Eleven right. right now. That's God's chosen people, right? right? And then the Christian church tells you that, uh, that God cast away his chosen people and now replace them with the damn church. Right, but let's see what the Bible says. Read Come that. On, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33 and verse 24. Yeah. It says, right, right. Hold up, hold up. You go ahead and read that first. Okay. 3 and 31. It's the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verse 31. Read it out. For the Lord will not cast off forever. No, the Lord cast off the Israelites. The Lord will not cast off forever. No, the Israelites are not the chosen people no more. For the Lord will not cast off forever. All right, all right. Now you go ahead, you read Time. It's yeah, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33 and verse 24. You know. It said, Considerest thou not what is this people have yeah. spoken, uh -huh. saying, The two families which the Lord has chosen, uh -huh. he hath even cast them off. This is what the other nations say, uh -huh. specifically the Ishmaelites and the Edomites, right? They say, You see the two families that the Lord chose, which is Israel and Judah, right? He even cast them off, even though he said that he wasn't going to cast them off forever, right? Go ahead. Thus, they have despised my people. And the reason that they teach this doctrine is because they hate the children of God. And they hate the children of God because they ain't us. They hate the children of God because the promises are for That's us right. and they got skipped over, right? right? Go ahead. It says that they should not Salah, that they should be no more a nation before them. Uh huh. And, right, exactly how it says in Psalms 83. Right, these nations took a crafty counsel and were confederate one with another. Right, that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. Because if it was up to them, we would have been wiped off the planet a long time.